well, what if your video sucks? What? What then? What if everybody just says they don't like you? Hmm? What are you gonna do? Hmm? You're just gonna, you're just gonna make your printer video anyway? Huh? Hello and welcome back to another Reality Check 3 printer video review. Right now we're going to be looking at the Anet A8 and the last kind of the final upgrades that I needed to do to the guy. And you can see right now in the background that it's going and of, well, I got the dimmer going. I'll get the dimmer. So cool, so cool. And now that of course the dimmer is going, it, it, I can change it when I want to and when we're watching a TV show and I don't want it to be so bright, I can turn it off. So it's just nice to have that choice. Woo! Plus, I did notice having it all in the power supply as opposed to having it hooked up through the, the main board, you know, one of them kind of blinked a little bit. So having them straight through the power supply just made everything perfect. Okay, I've got this bracket here. I'm going to put this on the back side of the table over here. So, of course, this is going to go on the back side of the table. We're going to put the printer on these supports. That is going to keep it above the ground, which is going to make it be a lot quieter while it does its print job. So, there we go. Here's our solution there. Let's check it out. Okay, so here is the basic wiring I've got going on in there. Um, it doesn't look too... Uh, Pretty, but it works, works just fine. And oop, that, that's, how, that's how I got that all set. There are great wiring diagrams online available, so you can check those out, of course. But uh, if you need to, just simply take a freeze frame right there. That is how I have mine situated right now. And of course, we're going to have one over here going into this. And we're going to have the outputs going to both of the LED strips on the sides. So we'll do that right now. Okay, so you can see right there the dimmer switch is actually kind of located in the back right there and you can see it right there in the Raspberry Pi camera as it's making that uh, the octopus there. That's one of the, the giveaways for the Pro VR gear store. And uh, yeah, it's just really quiet. It's really quiet. Okay, so after I got the dimmer switch installed, there was one other thing I kind of noticed. After printing with this printer for a while, uh, it was it was kind of making a noise. It was vibrating and, and I couldn't really fall asleep printing with this thing because I would hear it at night. So. One thing I, I thought to do is I, they have these hold down brackets where you can kind of really hold it down to you know your surface. And rather than getting the hold down brackets, I actually went with some of the ones called the dampeners. And the dampeners give you these little you know these little open guys. Let me show you what these look like. So what I actually did is I took my table there and I put some little brackets on the back of them. I screwed in the brackets on the back of the table. That way I could hold down these dampeners. And by holding and screwing these dampeners into the table itself. I can now put the, the printer on top of those dampeners and then it just kind of holds them securely in place at the same time it keeps the sound very very minimal because it does actually kind of bounce on them if it needs to as opposed to just you know moving and making that noise on the, the wood itself. So if you notice noise being a problem go ahead and check these out. I do think that they help a great deal and I'm really happy to have them on there. Of course I did add the hotbed adjustment pieces where I can add this the little tiny uh, 3M nut on the bottom and then you can just screw those in and out without having to use the kind of the the Y nut that's there already. These make it just a little bit easier to level the bed yourself. Okay, so for the filament guides on top, I used to have this little circular one that actually I'm still using right now, but there's this filament guide, which I noticed has a lot more space for the filament to move back and forth. I do think it's probably the best one to have, plus because you can put it on top, it can kind of just put itself right over the middle where it needs to be. Uh, it also has a spot for a screw to make it sure that it's secure. So this one right here seems to be one of the best ones. I'm going to go ahead and include this one in the description and you see right there, uh, it just seems to be kind of overall uh, more secure for the line, especially because obviously the, the printer is going to be moving back and forth on the, on the x-axis. 
Lastly, here's the nozzle right here that I've got kind of added on. It's it's a new kind of design. It says the, the Spria tests seem to be the best. The semicircular one isn't so good. The stock one's not good at all. And of course, even the circular one isn't always the best. But the Spria tends to give off some of the best prints. And as you can see right there, it just secures itself directly onto where it needs to be. And from my printer, you know, it just it, it just seems to be working perfect. So uh, I really do think these upgrades are the best ones so far. I'm going to keep printing with these and uh, keep letting you know what I think is uh, the best as obviously this seems to be it right now. I don't really know what else I want to do to this printer. So for now, I'm just going to keep going and, uh, and keep printing along for the ProVR gear store as well as, you know, cool fashionable items such as spinners. You know, you can make your own cool tri-spinner right there. Yeah, I know you haven't seen one of these before because, you know, I'm the only one that makes tri-spinner. What? How does he make a tri-spinner? That's right. You can stop the top one and you can stop the bottom one, but there would still be the third one because it's a tri-spinner, tri-spinner. And now they're all going different directions. What? They're all going different. How, how can they all go different directions if it's a tri-spinner? Because it's insane. It's insane. This thing is insane. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, 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 oh.